back again, my beautiful people. You don't know the boy yard man there. Yes, people, today we're going to speak about what happened with Liam Bailey. You know, Liam Bailey done an um, a interview on Jeffrey Let's Be Honest podcast. And he's speaking about the things that he's going through with the Jamaican um, JFF, Jamaican Football Federation. And, you know, he just decided that he's just going to take a break from it because things has been happening and he doesn't like it. So, you know what? He's just going to step aside and give it a break, international football a break. And I hear a lot of people kind of coming out and bashing him, talking all kind of, you know, things that come out at the other end. They don't really and truly know what's really going on with these international footballers and where they play their trade and how they played, where they played, what time. You know, the things that go around the day-to-day -day, um, runnings that they have to go through and when they leave and go play for their country, it's like a total different thing. But before we get into all of that, people, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to the channel, people, to help the channel grow. You know, people, we're just doing this for the love. We're doing it for the love, people. We've got a lot of people who's viewing the channel who is not a subscriber. Thank you very much. But you know what would be nice? If you just tap the subscribe button and tap the notification bell. So when the video drop, you get it, people. That's our ask so far. Just for tap the subscribe button. Leave a comment and tell me what you think about this video, people. So let's get into it, people. So as you know, um, Liam Bailey is saying that he's going to take a break from playing um, international football for Jamaica. And like I said, there's a lot of people come out and they're talking about how Liam Bailey should... It's a privilege for him to play for his country. Well, I know that. It's a privilege to play, represent your country, but it's how you represent your country and how your country represents you. So it's not about the players, them or the, the sports, the athletes, them who represent their country. The country has to represent them as well. And in this situation, we realize that Jamaica is not representing for not just Leon Bailey, but for the Jamaican reggae boys. You know, they, it, it's been a turmoil playing for Jamaica. And, you know, there's, you know, I'm going to pick out a few things that um, Leon Bailey stated. And, you know, I'm just going to tap, touch on it and let people know where this guy really coming from. So big up to Leon Bailey. You know, it takes a lot to come out to do that and you know you're your own man if you decide that you need to step down or step aside from playing for Jamaica then that's in your own right nobody can tell you what to do and I fully agree with what you say and all you I can't tell you all you feel but I just can I can understand how you feel when you left to go and play for Jamaica and one of the main thing that he was speaking about as you know people I mean a lot of people may be watch football all over the world and they watch it on TV. And, you know, speaking in the Jamaica diaspora, more of all, you know, when you go to Jamaica to watch football, it's kind of a different football you've been watching when, I mean, in England or in Europe, to say, watching football. Because when I watch football in England and when I see football in Jamaica, it's like, it's, the level is way different. Because I, I remember at one point, I see, I was watching Arnett Garden versus, uh, was it Waterhouse or Portmore? One of them teams that I was watching, I was seeing that the defender was the one who was taking the spot kick. The, the keeper wasn't. And that is something where I look at it, I'm like, wow. You know what, in, the, the, in this modern days, keeper, you don't have any um, goalkeeper anymore. You got a, a keeper who play out, who can play the ball from the back. And that's what been implemented all over football right now. So to see Jamaica is not doing that, that is a bit of concern. So the next thing that, um, like I said, Liam Bailey stated that whenever he get called up to come to the, the, the Jamaica camp, he has to, at times, but as where Jamaica stated, uh, Liam Bailey said he have to pay for his own ticket, but Jamaica stated something very different. They said a couple of times that, I believe, I believe they said one or two times that Liam Bailey have to really buy his own ticket. Liam Bailey stated that he have to travel and make three stops. Jamaica says two stop, one stop, I mean a stop in Miami or America. And that is, um, that is the norm. Well, JFF, you're wrong. That is not the norm. That is not the norm. I have never 
travel and I travel and stop one time, one and got a one time since I've been into this country. One time I've been ever go back to Jamaica and stop. But it's not the norm. If you take British Airway, you don't stop. Even if you take um, a flight for, from Virgin, you don't really stop. You can take one stop to one, one stop to Mobe or one stop to Kingston. That is the norm. When you get um, a two or three stop or a one stop, it is it's a cheaper ticket. And when you go to America, it's cheaper. So for you to be sending the player every single time you call him up for a camp, you send him a ticket. And like him said, him get ticket the day before him supposed to travel. That is unprofessional. And for him to be stopping off and traveling, you saying that he's traveling business. That's what the JFF saying. But Liam Bailey said he's traveling economic. It's not supposed to happen because this is the this is the thing that people don't understand. Liam Bailey is a Premier League player for the last two years now, two years, three years. Am I right? By saying three years now, he's a, he's a Premier League player. So he get and he was playing in Europe, in Germany and, and, and all over Europe as well. So he developed in a different way. He's a European footballer and they do things different. Yes, I understand that he has to adapt in certain way, but living a certain type of life when you're a footballer, and to go back and to live a different life, a life below your average, it's going to be hard for them to adapt because it's like you give me, he's living rough today and tomorrow he's living good and rough today. No, it's, it's, it's not like that. Like I said, Liam Bailey is a European football. When they're traveling, they travel in style. They travel, they travel um, in, in, in what, what we say now, um, comfort. That's what I was looking for. They're traveling comfort. Oh, the heck you make Liam Bailey traveling and traveling in economic car in the joy. Well, the JFF said business class, but he said economic or uh, economic or whatever you want to call it. I mean, that's not supposed to be happening. Is he there get the guy a private jet to come there? I know what. This is what's supposed to happen. If you know, because I see what Jamaica trying to do now. Jamaica trying to tap into the, the English market and get to, to get all of these players who can qualify to play for Jamaica, to play for the Jamaica and not England or any other country that they can play for. But you cannot treat them like that. If you want player to come and play for your island, your country, you cannot treat them like that. So we know we got a lot of players. English based player playing for Jamaica and sometimes most of them doesn't make the camp, sometimes most of them is injured. But if you got if you have more than four or three players coming to play for your country, remember Jamaica is a long trip. It's like eight to nine hours. Versus if you stop over, you're talking about a fifteen hour you're gonna sit on a plane for. Fam, give them give them a, take a private jet. Send for them in a private jail. Let, let, let them want to come. Travel, make they travel in style. That's the way all they travel when they travel with their club. They used to it. This is something embedded in them. You understand? So you can't take a player and let him travel in second class or economic. It, it just doesn't work. So the guy, the guy is a bit upset when the guy has to travel like that. You can't blame him. You can't blame him. Don't come out and say it's supposed to be a privilege for you to play for your country. So what? Ben White don't want to play for England. People that snatch a, There's a footballer right now who's playing in the Premier League with a snatch, a, snatch your head, your hand, your foot. They would have pay maybe half of their wages to play for England. And Ben White turned it down. So don't get it twisted, Jamaica. You're not England. You don't play in World Cup every single season World Cup playing. You're playing. You only make World Cup one time in your history, 1998, France. That's the only time you ever make World Cup. England win the World Cup 1966. You, you, I don't know if Jamaica will ever, ever win a World Cup. Maybe not. No, maybe the next 50, 60, 70 or 100 years when things and time get better and 
AI start to run the place. But for now, when the player them you're sending for the player them to come to your camp to, jump, to to play for your country, let they travel in style. Let they travel first class. Let they travel where they can sleep. Because when a player leave a certain country, like a player leave from England and go to Brazil, and they come back to the trade to the to the to the club. Sometimes they don't play. The, the, the club don't play them unless they are a, a very important player. But if they're a touch and go player, they don't really play because they're traveling from far, they jet lag. You understand? So you have to understand where Leon Bill is coming from, how he's traveling to Jamaica. JF, JDFR, not JD, Jamaica, different for Jamaica Federation, Football Federation, you have to do better regarding sending for player to come to play for your country. Let the player them travel in style, in comfort. Make that be a number one priority when they're when sending for player. Because these players are at, on a different level. Worse they're playing in the Premier League. Liam Bailey is a, is a known regular starter in for West, for Aston Villa. You understand? The next thing that the guys speak about is the, the pitch that they, they play on now. People, let me tell you something. You that see this pitch in England, it's sometimes coming like the, the ground staff, them use scissors. You know, when you go to the barber and the barber um, trim up your ear and they clip it up, that's all these pitch in England. Don't get me wrong. When you go down to the, the League 3, League 2, League 1, the pitch is not the same. But... They work, they're playing a very good pitch. Even though they're playing in the, the fourth, fifth tier. They're not playing on some pitch where the ball coming to them is boggling up. Some, some club play on that sort of pitch. Don't get me wrong. But the type of pitch that Liam Bailey play on, it is like, I mean, carpet. They, and, and play like Liam Bailey... When ball coming to them, they know what they're going to do before the ball reach to them. They see everything. They, they, and, I, and if you watch Premier League, you see when a player, a, 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 a ball coming towards a player, he look one or two times and know everybody where everybody is and he can just make a pass. You don't even have to look. Now, Liam Bailey stated that the pitching that he's playing on, that he have to make sure that the ball reach him foot first before he can even think what he's going to do because... Him can miscontrol the way the pitch in and gully the ball can just move off him in any direction. So him have to wait till him get the ball before he can think what he's gonna do. No. People people saying that Liam Bailey doesn't really play the same way when he's playing for Aston Villa. Damn right he's not gonna play the same. Because he have different quality a player around him. That's number one. The pitch is a different is A class. That's number two. You understand? And that's just two. That's just two. So you're not going to get a Liam Bailey who play for Aston Villa. The same Liam Bailey play for England. It's just not going to happen. People get it out on their head. It's not the same. You understand? The pitches where the guy is playing on is not good enough. And they have a problem with that. And Jamaica need to sort out stuff like that. The next thing the guys talk about that Jamaica is not paying him. No, not because you're playing for your country, you're not supposed to pay the player. You're supposed to make sure that the player money is there and ready. So whenever they leave camp or before they leave camp, or whenever you like have the arrangement to pay them, you pay them because we know that the Jamaica Football Federation, they're getting the money. Every time they go to play a friendly or they play in a tournament, they get paid. So why is that the player them not getting paid? It's not like you're running a club. Every time you go to play a tournament or a friendly, it doesn't matter where you're playing, who you're playing, you get some form of cash. You don't play for free. You do not play for free. Versus when a country asks you to come and play them. Yeah? You get paid. So why the player them hasn't been paid? That's bull crap. Pay the player them. Because too much corruption in Jamaican football why this we, we, are, we are still where we are at at the very present moment cannot reach a next World Cup final, cannot win a CONCACAF. 
because of corruption in the JFF. And we, like what Liam Bailey said, if he have one opportunity or he could, he would just get rid of everyone of you lot. And it's true. Too much corruption. It's not happening just now, you know. This has been happening for years, for decades. Decade. This has been happening. Yeah. We have too much player overseas who can play for Jamaica, but make the team better. Make Jamaica Football Federation better. And the only way you can do that is move every single one of them who's sitting on the board and the, the, the Jamaican, every one of them, move them. Every single one of them, sack them and start fresh and see if you don't have a better Jamaican football team. You understand? A lot of people, the next thing and the most important thing that the guy speak about, two more things. The guy speak about that there's two things he asks for when he's coming to play for Jamaica. Is get him on a proper flight and give him a hotel room for himself. No, people, people, let me tell you this. Playing for your country and going on an international break and playing for your country, it is disgraceful for you to share in room with other players. Uh, come on, Jamaica, come on. Behave now. If you're playing away, you want to tell me that you can't get a hotel that can hold 23 and maybe another 20 staff, 40 or 50 room book. When why why are you play why why are you there then? If you cannot even book hotel for each individual player, do you know this luxury that England player get when they leave to go and camp? Do you know the suit that they get for me to be I mean, I hear a player speak about at one point that they forgot their suit and they, f and they let the... You know, you have different, different um, departments of people who control different, different parts within the, the, the camp. And he phoned up, um, I forgot what's your name, and he just phoned her up and he said to her that, listen, I forgot my suit. And bam! Before the end of the day, a suit is there for him. They got... I hear that. I see, I see my two eyes. Where Jamaica was playing, um, who they playing the last, the two, a two game ago, a game of four, they was coming out and the, the training, the, the what to warm up, and I see players coming out with the cone, player coming out with ball, the big ball, but I mean, that, that's a, where, where is it, where is the coach, the, the assistant coach to do that? Where is the fitness coach to do all of that, to set up the, the pitch for them to be um, warming up on? You don't see, you don't see stuff like that happening in England. And this is what we used to. Don't blame us. This is what we used to. We used to see the coach coming out and putting out the corner and putting on things of a player to do. We don't see player coming out with bag and ball and cone and all of this bull crap and, and, and warm up vest and all of these things. Everybody bring it out like, come on, man. Fix up. Make it look like Jamaica is a, a fourth world or third world country where we don't have money to do this sort of thing. We do have the money. The money is there. And like I said, Every single time Jamaica left to go and play a tournament or a friendly, they get paid. So why is it that you're treating the player them like that? And think that's a privilege for the people to play for Jamaica? Are you mad, fam? Fix up, fam. What's wrong with you? And then you're going to come out and chat and be a bullcrap about how many um, flights you're going to give the player. And every single flight the player you know, can talk about is two stop. You yeah, stop, I stop. One stop, private jet. Who are you talking about? Private jet. Do you believe that England gonna fly to to Jamaica to play a, a football game and 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 other passengers on the plane? Are you mad? Unless it's a big double ear bus where they 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 take up all of the the, the, the maybe the forty or the fifty seat with and 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 the, and the nether level. And the, the rest of people at this the second level can you know virgin car two level yeah and the earbuds them car two level but more likely England will just rent a plane and you don't want to see how they travel everybody get that um luxurious um first class bed to lay down and sleep no chair you can imagine Liam Bailey each up in a, a seat one man be beside him and one and just each up so 
eh? a footballer each up for nine hours, then he's gonna stop uh, America. Come on, hey, peep, come on, man. Leah Bill have a right for them one play for Jamaica again. Who, who would I want to play? Yeah, the next thing the guy speak about is him safety. Come on, Liam Bailey is playing for Aston Villa. And I believe just before he signed for Aston Villa, a player, a fan, run on the pitch and attack Jack Grealish and smash him across the head. We see this happen all over. And if he's going to state it that he doesn't feel safe while he's in the hands of Jamaica Football Federation, then... That's called for concern. And I know Aston Villa will speak to Jamaica about that because that's the player that they sign. The Aston Villa own him. They pay him a ton load of money. And if he doesn't feel safe, then do we really want to play for Jamaica? That's something people have to understand. You don't really see this player, even if you, even if you see the England player, they're traveling. You don't, you don't, the public don't see them. You cannot get close to them like that. Arsenal player, as much as I've been an Arsenal supporter for the last nearly 30 years, you don't really and truly get to meet and greet the player them like that. It's some ground that you're going to that you really can see the player them and you can take a photograph with them. Some grounds, and like the ground, like Luton, no, not Luton. I know, um, Bournemouth is a ground that you can see because the way all the coach park up, you have barrier, you have pier um, security line off and they walk on the bus and it's two bus, two bus take them and that's those bus, bus are some luxurious bus. So when you hear Lee and Billy speaking and he's saying that he doesn't really and truly feel like he want to play for Jamaica, for the disabled future. People don't don't bash him. You have to understand where the guy is coming from. You have to understand that so Jamaica is fucking corrupt. You have to understand that so the, the JDF, the wall of them need to just step down. Is it gonna happen? No. Is anybody in Jamaica have the balls to do that? To get rid of the wall of them and start fresh? No. So the corruption is gonna continue. And I don't blame Leon Bailey not to play for Jamaica anymore for the disabled future. And a lot of players are going to take that stand. I don't blame him. Do what you feel is right for you. Concentrate on your club football. Because they are the, that's, the, that's, the, that's the club that's making you. Not Jamaica. Not the JFF. They, they are the one. They, they're not doing nothing. Like him said. They're not doing nothing for him. Liam Bill have to go in and pocket and sort in other players and coaching staff. Come on, man. And I know the bigger heads are getting paid. Every time they go on to play a game, they're getting paid. So why the coaching staff and the player them not getting paid? You not come out and say that you overpay them in the quarter of this year or the, 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 the middle of the year you're going to pay the player them? Huh? But it, it's supposed to be a luxury for them to come. It's supposed to be an honor for them to come and play for Jamaica. And Jamaica want to ask English player who eligible can play for Jamaica to come and play for them. When they see what's really going on, hey, my brother, we we'll have something next coming to me because players not gonna want to come. They're not gonna want to come, knowing that they have to take that long ass trip. Do you think they really would like to travel? Do you think they really would want to like to come to Jamaica? They want to go to Jamaica. They can book their ticket and go to Jamaica and stay in the best hotel. Liam Bailey can do that. If don't have to come to Jamaica because he want to play football for Jamaica, he can just buy him ticket and go to Jamaica. He can take a private plane to Jamaica, a private jet. If he want to Jamaica, back and forth every single time, he's been paying pay well by Aston Villa. So he can do that. So people, put some respect on Liam Bailey's name. I hear people talking about how many um, goal he scored and how many games he played for Jamaica. He's a winger. So fucking what? He's a fucking winger. He's not a centre forward. He's not a number nine. He's a winger. But yes, still him can play all over the pitches. Yes, him can play as a number nine. Him can play as a eight. Him can play as a seven. But real and truly, he's a winger. So you have to appreciate that what Liam Bailey is doing, and don't believe that just because him, him, him playing good for Aston Villa, I'm going to come and come to Jamaica and play the same. Them can't. 
Because like him said, the player them that him have around him is not the same. It's not the same quality of player that him have. The pitch is not the same. So how the heck you going to get an A game from out of Liam Bailey uh, and other players? Oh, you're going to get that. Antonio didn't make the camp. Did he come to the camp? Um, and West Ham tell him, no, they need him. What happened today? He scored. You understand? So people have to understand where Liam Bailey is coming from. Liam Bailey, big up yourself every time Yardman says so. Big up yourself every single time and do what is best for you and your career. If you believe that going to Jamaica and playing for them is not good for you, don't do it. Don't do it. You're your own big man. People, tell me what you think about this. Leave in a comment. Tell me if you believe that what Liam Bailey do or say is right. Or whatever Liam Bailey stated is right. Or if I'm talking the truth. And I know JDF, JFF clapped back at him. But you know what? Who cares? The guy don't say him after say already. And it's not going, he's, he's not going back on his word. He said, guess what? I'm giving Jamaica football team a break. So what? That's what I'm going to do. Deal with it. That's what you have to do. And anybody out there bashing but because you know, don't understand. And have to get to understand before you start bashing the youth. You understand? Because like I said, it's two different types of football in playing when he play for Jamaica and when he playing for um, Aston Villa. When he flying with Aston Villa, going anywhere with Aston Villa to when he flying with Jamaica. It's two different things. When they go to, when they go to, like now they're in the conference, when they go away, they don't two men stay in a hotel room. Uh, each man to one hotel room. One man to a room. Everybody want them private. Come on. What are you talking about? I don't want to come out and talk about not clap back at Liam Bailey. Fuck off. Fuck off, J -D -J -J JFF. Jamaica Football Federation. Who the fuck want to play for you, lad? Piss off, people. Want to come out and, ta and talking about him supposed to be supposed to be something that him come... The guy has vice it to all the time. Him vice him concern all the time. Big up yourself, Liam Bailey. Don't play for Jamaica again. Tell them to fuck off over old people. Leave in the comment and tell me what you think.